Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our elementary music concert. And thank you so much for re rearranging your schedule um, for our rescheduled date, all because of our wonderful winter weather. Um, as most of you know, we had to reschedule to tonight because the snowstorm delayed uh, our performances of Mamma Mia last week. So uh, our open date was this evening. And as you can tell, they're already setting up for prom, which comes on Saturday. So this is the multi-purpose gym, and we've um, been very fortunate to be able to reschedule, and so I'm, I'm happy to see you all here tonight. What's going to happen tonight is you are going to see uh, three Western or uh, folk dances that have been very popular in the United States. And each group uh, is dressed to the theme, so the first one that the kindergarten through second grade will be doing is the Mexican hat dance. Now you might wonder, why would we do the Mexican hat dance in the United States? Well, it did start in Mexico, but it has become very, very popular and is very symbolic of, of Southwestern music. The Mexican hat dance, or Jarabe Tapatio, is a very prevalent dance that is often considered the Mexican national dance. One of the greatest reasons for its popularity is that it celebrates courtship. During the dance, the man places his sombrero on the ground. The increasingly popular Mexican hat dance provides viewers with a twirling collage of vitality and sparkle. The dance has captured the heart and soul of many, including traditional music lovers in Mexico and all around the world. And to this day, Jarabe Tapatio outshines most dances in history courtship, and choreography. Kindergarten through second grade, will you join me on the floor? The Virginia Reel is a spirited American country dance for couples. It stems from the Rinche Fada, a pre-Christian Irish dance that evolved into the English dance called the Sir Roger de Coverley. Brought to Virginia by English colonists, in time the dance began, became the Virginia Reel. Several versions range from the polished form danced in ballrooms in the 18th century to the livelier present day version that you're going to see today. The Virginia Reel is a progressive dance for couples in long ways formation. In other words, you see the long lines up here. Um, dancers execute several figures. In the characteristic reel figure, the partners are head to head and they swing each other alternately. And the other dancers move to the bottom of the set. This would be the top of the set 
and this is the bottom of the set. So you'll see the couples work their way down set and then back up to the head again. You'll also see them tonight uh, form an arch while the rest of them uh, follow and come through. I'd like to specifically thank Clarissa Guy. You can see Clarissa over there in pink. She doesn't really match the rest of them. Clarissa is a, a fifth grader. And we had a student absent tonight. And um, I knew he was going to be gone all day today. So I asked for a volunteer. And she graciously volunteered to be Adeline's partner tonight. So thank you, Clarissa. This is Alabama Gal.
The Charleston, a social dance, was popularly, popular in the mid-1920s. The Charleston is characterized by outward heel kicks combined with up and down movement achieved by bending and straightening the knees in time to a syncopated 4-4 rhythm of ragtime jazz. The steps are thought to have originated with blacks living on a small island near Charleston, South Carolina. Performed in Charleston as early as 1903, the dance made its way into Harlem stage shows by 1913. A male chorus line danced and sang James P. Johnson's Charleston in the musical Running Wild on Broadway in 1923. Both dance and song, expressive of the reckless, daring, abandon, and restlessness of the jazz age flappers, soon became all the rage throughout the United States. The Charleston. Uh, perform our song part of the concert and the first piece is friend like me it's from Aladdin and we have some solo groups that you're going to hear tonight uh, the first okay our first group is Ryder Smith Tucker Miller uh, Jake Sampson and Clarissa Guy our second group is Charlie Nenenga Connor Glines and Tucker Joe Hardy and our third group is Eliana Darling and Morgan Ostley and Savannah Bible. This is Friend Like Me from Aladdin.
entirely sure why our practice this afternoon lasted an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Maybe it's because I hadn't seen them since last Thursday, and we hadn't really been able to practice our um, dances in the gym only but a couple of times. So tonight we're just rolling through and singing our lungs out and having a blast up here. Um, I have to explain the title of the last piece. Um, <laughs> Grandma's a swing dancer. Grandma is a swing dancer, and she lives on the farm. And she dances all over the barnyard, and she has a great old time kicking up her heels, and, and she's just wild and crazy and has a great time. And she gets Grandpa going, and they swing dance throughout the whole barnyard. They even get the barnyard animals going. And so by the end, everybody is swinging to the left and swinging to the right and swinging all day and swinging all night. And this is a high energy, just a super fun piece. And we hope you really enjoy it. And we're super glad that you came to watch us tonight. And we hope that you'll come back on uh, May 6th is the high school concert right here in a, in a couple of weeks. And we'll showcase the older students. But thank you again for coming tonight. Uh, please pick up your child at their elementary classroom and enjoy My Grandma Was a Swinger. <laughs> 